main things of Colombia produce uh, export is coffee. So in Colombia we have a lot of coffee uh, and we drink a lot of coffee too. So yeah, <laughs> that's something that I wanted to, to tell you about my, my country. Uh, what else? Uh, I speak Spanish because yeah, we, we in Colombia we speak Spanish. In the past, Colombia was part of Spain, you know, in Europe. Spain conquered all America, all South America and Central America. So all the countries in South America and Central America, we speak Spanish because we were part of Spain. But now we are, uh, we are, we are our own country, so to say, so, so to speak. So that's it. Uh, thank you, guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for taking the time for, for joining today. Uh, so let's do a, a short self-introduction to everyone here. So let's let's move on. Let's start with Sultan. <laughs> hey, Sultan. Can you hear? Uh, can you thank you, Dwarf, sir. Okay. Okay, Sultan. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice uh, to meet you. It's, it's the first maybe, time that... Uh, Okay, thank you. Maybe maybe this is uh, my first time joining here. Uh, okay. Yeah. And then, yeah, my name is Sultan Fatalaban and I'm from Indonesia, okay. sir. Um, beautiful country. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry, can, can you repeat? Where, where are you from? I'm from Indonesia. Indonesia? Indonesia. Okay, because Sultan is like, I, I, I met Indonesia. another Sultan, but it's, for, it's from... Maybe from from Turkey or from Istanbul? No, sir. Uh, in Indonesian, Sultan is the means uh, king. Yeah, yeah, Indonesia. exactly. Like, <laughs> like, like a king, right? Yeah, but I'm another Sultan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it's a pretty common name in, in Arabic also, right? Yes. And then uh, I'm first graduate, sir from uh, my, my university and then uh, I'm diploma for but uh, the means uh, I mean uh, the reason I uh, joined here because my English is so strong, so <laughs> that I'm uh, I want to uh, help more I mean uh, I want to my reason uh, join here because I want to improve my uh, English skills, or that if I uh, if I make you confused about my uh, sentence or my speaking, uh, I'm sorry. No, don't worry because I'm I'm a learner too. I'm learning English too. The good thing yeah. about this this meeting is all the people here we are learners, so I'm learning English too. So yeah, don't worry about it. Uh, the most important thing for us is to to practice. So just speak a lot, speak as much as you want, and don't worry because everybody, all all people, you know, everybody make mistakes, makes mistakes. I'm also I'm sure that I'm making a lot of mistakes, but I don't mind because <laughs> my main goal is to practice also. So yeah, I'm not an expert. I'm trying to to speak so yeah don't worry about it i'm really glad that you that you join and that you can practice with with us and as far as i can tell you speak excellent english in my opinion of course i'm not an expert but i'm able to understand everything that you said so yeah thank you for for joining sultan do you want to say anything else um maybe next time <laughs> okay maybe. yeah yeah <laughs> Let's let's move on to another participant. Hey, Ibnu, Ibnu Handy. Hello, sir. Okay, Ibnu. Please, for those who don't know you, please tell us something about you. Okay, good evening, guys, from my side. Good evening, and good night uh, from my side. Okay, please uh, Please allow me to introduce myself. Okay, my go name ahead. Is Sorry. My name is Ibnu Hamdi, and everybody calls me Hamdi, but you may also call me Ibnu. And okay. I am 25 years old. I ha I'm from Indonesia, okay. West East Java, East Java province, Jember Regency, Sempolan village. And okay. uh, I 
actually I live in a near town by Adibah here. Okay. Uh, Adibah. Uh, actually, we 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 live in uh in really near village, but okay. uh, she she lives in a different village from me, but it's really near. And I am a teacher in an elementary school. Actually, I am a teacher in three schools, elementary school, uh, senior high school, and junior high school. Okay. My hobby is exercising, and maybe sometimes I have a sport like playing volleyball. Okay. I, I go jogging every day in the morning and evening. Okay. And I love and- reading. Yeah, I know, and I think you, you last time we, we talked, you told me that you are, you have a, a really healthy lifestyle, right? You like to exercise and to... Yes, I have cut so many carbs from my diet, and okay. I, only, I only eat protein and vegetables, veggies. I don't eat carbohydrates like bread or rice. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, that's that's great. What about you said that you live next to close to Adiba. What about yeah. Sultan and Yusi? Uh with Yusi it's really far from me because mm-hmm. we live in a in, in different region region. Okay. So she lives in Malang region, region C and I live in Jimba region quite far. So it's uh, far away. Yeah. Probably um 100 kilometers wow that's a lot and what about and sultan with sultan it's really far it's the furthest uh distance with sultan because he, okay. he lives in uh bandung right no i live in pamalang central java pamalang yeah central java yes it's really far it's uh further than UC. Okay, so yeah, maybe you probably can hang out with with Adiba sometimes because you live I have. close to Adiba. I have. <laughs> okay. A few months ago. Oh. Yeah, I, I I came to her house, and we talked each other. We talked so many things about daily English. Wow. Uh, at that time. <laughs> so nice. That's so nice. It's, it's a really nice experience that you can meet people online and then you can meet, I mean, in, in real life, face to face, face to face. I'm really it's glad. Really nice. I'm really happy to be able to come to her house. And it's a really uh, happy experience. Yeah, yeah. I hope in the future, maybe I can travel to to Indonesia or maybe you guys can came here to yeah to Colombia uh, and maybe we can meet and drink some coffee so yeah, yeah. I hope, I hope. Uh, yeah. if you come here I will welcome you with so many um, various food Indonesian uh, food. Yeah. I know I will Indonesian you. food is is huge right it's there's a lot of traditional food in Indonesia yeah, and and I will take you to the beautiful places in Indonesia. There are many tourism places here, and I will take okay. you there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are very kind, Ibnu. Thank you very much, and thanks for for joining today. Thank you very much. Let's move on to our dear friend Adiba. Hey, hey, Adiba, are you there, Adiba? Hey, Adiba, how are you, Adiba? How are you doing today? I'm good. And how about you? Yeah, I'm really good also. I just get up because it's <laughs> morning here. Oh. <laughs> I I don't know if you can hear you can see the, the sun in the window. Uh, yeah, so yeah. Maybe you can yeah, it's it's quite it's a sunny day today. So yeah. And but it's been raining a lot the last last week was raining. Yeah, today it's Looks like it's going to be a good day. So, sorry, Adiba. Uh, please tell us something about you for those who don't know you. I think everybody knows me, but yeah, okay. Uh, okay. My name is Adiba. I'm from same like Ibnu. 
from East Java and same uh, East province Java. and same city but different village. Okay. And you are studying now, right? Yeah, uh, I'm student in English Education Department, and now I'm the fourth semester. <laughs> yeah. What about the holidays, the vacations? Are you in vacation now? I, I don't. No, I so, have right? I have finished my vacation. Tomorrow I have I have start my new semester, my course. Okay. Good luck to to you next semester. Yeah. Hope you thank enjoy. you. Okay, thank you, Divan. And last but not least, our dear friend Yusi. Hey, Yusi, do you want to say something short for us? Okay, I will introduce myself because we have new member here. And okay. Miss, uh, hello, Sultan. Finally, we can meet. <laughs> hello, everyone. My name is Yusi. I'm from Malang, Asia, Indonesia. And I'm worker and I continue my study. I, mm -hmm. I, I can be graduated soon. Yeah, pray for me. Okay, that is. Okay, you are working and you are studying at the same time, right? Yeah. How do you handle that? Do you study at night and you work at, in the day? Yes, I, I work uh, in the morning until uh, 4, 4 p.m. Okay, that is time of work. Then okay. after that, I I join the class. Just so okay. exercise. Yes, but just in the weekend, just three three days, three days. Okay. But but that is until night. Until night, yeah. Sometimes uh ten p.m. or eleven. Or that okay. See. And then you go home and and make some dinner. Uh, and having some dinner maybe yeah. after that. Yeah, of course, I must I must eat some food. Do you have to cook or another yes. person cook for you? Uh, yes, I mostly I cook. I cook uh, by myself, and okay. I have lunch box. Uh, I bring it uh, in the office. Yeah. For okay. Yeah, yeah. So you you can eat something during yeah, the office but, time yeah but when i feel uh, tired or yeah don't want to cook so i i just order it um, yeah yeah some restaurant. Yes. You, you buy something what yeah. what is your favorite food maybe chicken <laughs> oh yes chicken is famous here uh, but i like satay mm, what is that can you tell us what is that is uh yeah same as uh chicken burnt mm -hmm. chicken uh with uh sauce pen peanut sauce mm -hmm. peanut sauce yeah. okay so yeah yeah sounds well, sounds delicious so yeah <laughs> thank you Yusi thank you very much and okay here are our dear friend from Russia. Dima, hey, hey, Dima. Hi. <laughs> I'm glad you, you can join today. How are you doing uh, today, Dima? I'm fine. <laughs> about you? Yeah, I'm really glad. I'm really glad that you, you joined. We were about to start today, today. but yeah, you, you just enter right at, at the time when we are, when we are starting to, to discuss our topic. So, Dima, please tell us something about you. Short self introduction. Um, my name is Dima. I'm from Russia, I'm in Siberia. Okay. Uh, I'm 28. 28. And, um, uh, I'm I'm learning English, and I've been learning English on and off for five years by myself. Okay. And, um, also, I used to learn Spanish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, How is your yes. Spanish now? You said that you are beginner. Did you study yes, it last week? Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> I'm still a beginner. Um, okay. Uh, I think that's it. Okay. I'm really glad that you welcome welcome to this to this meeting today, and I'm really glad that you, mm -hmm, you joined. And yeah, I'm be, I'm learning English, same as you, as on and off, maybe about 
for the last three years, maybe. Yeah, since the pandemic, I started with the pandemic and yeah, I've been learning English by myself too. So I'm kind of relate with that, Dima. Thank you, Dima. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. And I think yeah, that's it. We finish our discussion today. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's let's start our this uh, our topic today. So yeah, today we're going to talk about uh, we're going to talk about and discussing about proverbs, proverbs and sayings. I think Adiba sent sent you the 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 message with the explaining the topic. So today we're going to talk about that about proverbs. So what is a proverb? Proverb. Proverbs are short sentences that generally contain wisdom. You know, there are traditional wisdom. Our parents and our grandparents uh, teach us something about life using proverbs, right? Proverbs. So that proverbs are advice or some kind of warning or expression that teach us something, uh, something about life. So using proverbs, we can we can teach our children, we can teach the younger generations, and there is this traditional wisdom that we can we can teach uh, by using these these phrases, these proverbs, these sayings, and you know there are wise words that offer advice, and sometimes it's there are pretty pretty famous. So, and you know, in English, I think native speakers, they use proverbs all the time. So it's really, I think it's nice to, to learn some proverbs. For example, I think I send you this proverb. It's a barking dog never bites. Have you ever lis listened to, to this proverb in the past? So yeah, that's, that's a proverb. And in the Spanish also we have this proverb. It says, perro que ladra no muerde. Sorry for saying that in Spanish, but yeah. It, it, the same proverb in English exists in Spanish. So yeah, there is another proverb that is, a picture is worth a thousand words. That's another proverb. Uh, I think it's true. For example, in, I think it's really important for learning. If you if you want to learn something, if, if you see a picture explaining something, it you can learn easy because it like it sticks into your into your brain and it's easier to remember. That's I think that's the reason why when we are learning through YouTube videos, it's 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 really useful because there are a lot of pictures, a lot of image, and as the proverb says, a picture words a thousand words so you uh, something that you can explain with many many words it's more easy it's easier if you if you see a picture of that that's a proverb and i know another proverb maybe you guys you guys maybe you heard about this another proverb is is was is my one of my favorites it's to kill one weird one bird sorry is to kill two birds with one stone that's another proverb right i don't know if you hear about that proverb so it's when you are when you when you want to to do something and by doing one thing you can you can work in in two things at the same time so you can you are able to kill two birds two birds with one stone so that's something it's it's a, it's a, a wisdom it's traditional wisdom i think and as i said not only in our native language but in english native speakers use proverbs of the time so it's a really nice way to 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 get familiar with with the language and to learn new words and things like that so yeah i'm going to i'm going to copy these proverbs in, in the chat area. So let's get started today with, with Ibnu. Okay, Ibnu. Let's discuss about proverbs. 
do you have have you ever encountered some proverbs or saying what is your favorite yes, I, proverbs? i have seen and uh, i have seen so many sayings and proverbs uh, during my entire life but my favorite is uh, only one that is okay. better late than never <laughs> better late than never Yeah, right? better late than never okay i know I can know you explain is... can you explain that please actually this is the most famous sayings and i guess uh, i'm i'm pretty sure everyone here ever heard about this uh, saying okay. and the better late than never <clears throat> it means that we uh, uh it means that there's always a change and uh there's always chain for us to take uh take or to, to learn something no matter how okay. old we are we always have uh we always have time and change to to better myself to better ourselves and to get better yeah and and my favorite my favorite saying also after better I just than said, never yeah it's i just write that I, okay. Did I get it right? Uh, yes. And okay. the the early the earlier bird gets the worm. Uh, I don't know which one is right. The earlier bird gets the worm, or the earlier bird catch the worm. Hmm. I, I I've never heard about it. Can, can you write it in the chat? Maybe. Oh yeah. I, I uh, I'm gonna write it. Uh, please wait a minute. Give me a minute. Okay. The it's about that you have to get up early, maybe. Yeah, uh, not not only in waking up, but also in so many cases, in so many ways. So we have to come earlier. Maybe we, if if we have a class, English class, then we have to be the first one in the to come. Okay. And, yeah, and if we work on our office we have to come earlier than others so that we can get the better chance uh, to get the opportunity okay let's say that with with your first uh, proverb better late than never how can you use it for example give me an example if if, a fr if you if you have a date with a friend and she she comes late She says, I'm sorry, right? You, you can say, don't worry, better late than never, right? Uh, uh, no, 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 not, not like that. I mean, uh, <laughs> it's better late than never means that if we are, if we are so interested in something, like if we want to start to learn English, <laughs> but sometimes people think that when they are too old or maybe uh, they think that they have never they have no chance anymore to learn english then they will leave it they will mm -hmm. never learn english wow. so i guess uh, it's be it's better to apply or to use this proverb in our life uh, especially when we want to learn something uh, and for me when i when i want to learn volleyball Okay. Uh, at first, I thought that uh, it's too late for me to learn volleyball, but sometimes, uh, but but someone someone entrusted me uh, at one time. Then uh, she said that uh, it's better late than never. So I tried uh, to play volleyball. Then up to now, I become I, I I have become an athlete in my uh, in my regency in my uh, in my region yeah that's 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 really that's a nice story that's a really nice story it's like a self improvement improvement story and what about the other one the early bird gets the worm how can you apply that actually i have applied this uh, since long ago uh, <laughs> every time i go to my office i uh, i come earlier than others and i i'm always the first one in the office and i wake up every 4 p.m uh, uh, every 4 a.m in the morning 
and uh, I have started my day earlier than everyone. Yeah, yeah. it's it's better. And you have more time. Yeah, yeah right? I have more time than others, and I have more. Uh, I have the better chance and the better opportunity. Yeah, I, I I know. In Spanish, we have the same saying, the, the same proverb. It says something like, "People who get up early, uh, God will help us," or something like that. So, go, God, help the people who get up early, or something like that. I I don't know if you get the idea, but it's yeah, something I, 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 related. I think, uh, I think it has it has the closest meaning with this uh, proverb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Thank earlier you. book gets the work. Yeah, yeah. I know. It's like, yeah. It's it's it, it, it applies to everything, to work, to study, to to everyday life. That's right. Yeah. Do you want to say anything else about proverbs, Ibnu? Mm, for now, I think uh, uh, that's all for me. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Ibnu. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you for joining. Let's move on to our next participant. Our dear friend from Indonesia, Sultan. Okay, Sultan. <laughs> Please okay. share with us your favorite uh, proverbs or sayings. Maybe I have uh, my favorite proverb. Uh, okay. That is, no pain, no gain. <laughs> Did you ever heard? No pain, no gain. Yeah, 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 I, I heard about that. Please yeah. explain. Okay. Can you explain about no pain, no, no pain, no gain, which means uh, to achieve something, maybe you need to hard work or uh, sacrifice something. And uh, maybe, uh, for example, if you want to be an uh, athlete, maybe uh, you have to work hard a lot before or practice or something. To become better, I yeah, mean. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe if you want to pass or uh, get a great education, maybe you have to uh, sacrifice your time or your money for you know pay for the school or something. Yeah, yeah. It's like the 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 good things in life take a lot of sacrifice and work. Lifting ways. You want yeah. to grow your muscles. You have to. There is, with no pain, there is there is no gain. C can you write that in the chat, maybe? Okay. Wait a minute. Okay. Write it down. So yeah, I think it's a really, it's a really, yeah, it's a really nice proverb. I also heard before. No pain, no gain. It's quite short, but it's like it's it's quite catchy. It's, you you learn it easy when when you hear it. <laughs> Close. Go ahead. If, if, can you explain more about this? This yeah. proverb. Maybe proverb. Uh, maybe this proverb is yeah have a lot meaning. Uh, like what I said before. Uh, maybe if you want to uh, be something uh, for reach your dream or um or get something maybe if you want to be like athlete or um pass for your uh university maybe if you want to pass your university you need uh, more hard work for uh, learning about your subject or about your major before so that mm -hmm. uh, yeah no pain no gain is uh profit that's suitable <laughs> for uh activity like that i mean <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and I want I I, I um maybe it, it can apply to language learning. Right, yeah? when you are learning English, it's the same. You have to to suffer yeah. a little bit if you want yeah. to learn it. Yes, yes, uh, I'm agree about that because uh, if you want to be, you know, improve your English skill, maybe you have you want to uh, maybe uh you have to sacrifice your time like this for join this uh meeting. I mean, and then um yeah you have to uh you have to i mean hard work like me <laughs> sometimes i'm uh confused about uh what are all you say guys before uh because uh i mean my vocabulary is so uh i mean it's not a lot so that i have to 
you know, if I uh, find something like new for cap, I have to uh, transfer it before. And then if I want to be, if I, if I want to, uh, you know, uh, release uh, for, uh, release for what I mean, what, uh, so that I have to, you know, um, uh, <laughs> like like to to look for words right yeah like, look for word before and then uh find word with suitable uh, that what i mean like that yeah yeah that's great well you said that you your english is not really good but in my opinion you speak you're quite fluent in my and do you have yeah. summer i don't like summer it. time it's uh, summer can be you know the weather here is so changeable and even in January it can be warm and then she can go up to plus plus two um, uh, and uh, in this year in uh, 7th January it was mm -hmm. plus two three approximately and it was rainy and, uh, and, uh, and after that day it was a slippery outside and uh, ice on the ground and it uh, was cold yeah um, yeah um, well that's it's really nice because i i don't I, I like the cold and but you know here in colombia we don't have seasons for example i never seen the snow in my life i would like to see the snow in the future we don't have winter like with the snow and Things like that. I'm sure it's warm. I'm tired of winter and uh, snow. And, uh, uh, we have snow lying on the ground uh, for half a year. With, uh, six months we receive snow and, uh, on the ground. Uh, yeah. And, uh, but it looks like, it, it looks nice to me when I see the snow in television or on the internet it, it looks nice <laughs> oh. yeah and, and after um, snow starts melting and we have uh, big puddles on, on, on the ground of water and uh, it's, <laughs> it's dirty usually outside and uh, muddy dirt Windy, especially March, uh, and, uh, March especially. And, uh, yeah. well, that's why I I don't really like uh, this uh, month March. Okay. I bring I maybe April or May, uh, approximately. And, uh, yeah. In summer it's usually hot here, and mm -hmm. uh, especially July. Okay. Uh, and. Uh, Temperature can be plus 37. Uh, it's, for us, it's really hot. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's. I thought you, you don't have summer, but it turns out that you you also have summer. I have the. Yeah, it's really nice to 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 know that, about that. Thank you, Dima. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining today, and I hope we can talk in another opportunity. Thank you very much. Let's move on to our dear friend Adiba from Indonesia. Are you there, Adiba? So, okay, Adiba, tell us about our topic today, about, about proverbs. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, my prophet, actually, I found it uh, now <laughs> uh, in my in, uh, in internet. There is prophet that is related to me. Uh, that is, okay. you can get always what you want. You can get all... Can you repeat? <laughs> Sorry, I, I didn't get it. You can get always what you want? Uh -uh. But I wanna I wanna type it. Yeah, write it down in the chat. Okay. 
okay? It was something like you cannot get always what you want, I guess. Okay, you can always get what you want. Okay, please es explain what, explain us, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, uh, life is hard, and I think we know that is life teach teach us that not always what what we want or all your dream is come true. Yeah. So sometimes uh people already disappointed about that dream about yeah about about that dream or they disappointed to people maybe because uh, because of they want to like they have expect they have they have high expectation about others maybe like for example maybe like me i really want <laughs> to have like um a new phone or a new laptop like that but my father always said to me that your laptop is still Good, so you don't need to buy it again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you want to a new phone, but yeah, it's yeah. you can't always get what you want. Yeah. And you can apply that in study, maybe also in your studies. Yes. Yeah. I I I apply it in my studies too, like um like in my classes so when i get like examination i i i don't want to hope that i have a good score because sometimes <laughs> i feel like i'm still lazy sometimes so it's okay if i have uh maybe not a bad score but at least i can accept it yeah yeah yeah. yeah, it's like it, it helps you with ac acceptance. You have to yeah. accept the things yeah. that happen to you. Yeah, it's I I I think it's true, and it's a really yeah, it's a useful phrase. You can always get what you want. Maybe if you are a parent and you have children, it's it's quite <laughs> useful, right? Maybe yeah. in the future when you when you when you have when you when you when you have your own children. You can apply that phrase, Adiba. Oh, yeah, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's good to learn this, this phrase. Maybe for me also. I'm, I don't have children. I don't have son or daughter either. But yeah, it's like you can say to your son, okay, little, little boy, you can't always get what you want. Please <laughs> behave well. <laughs> something like that yeah do you want to say anything else about that phrase or another proverb um another proverb i i have but i forget <laughs> about it <the proverb. laughs> yeah okay. i think that is okay that's it okay thank you adiva thank you very much thank you for, for joining me and thank you for the invitation today I'm really, I'm always happy to, to be able to, to practice with you guys. Okay, we have two new new participants, Rona and Ilias. I don't know, can you hear me, Ilias? Are you there, Ilias? Oh, hello. Hello, good evening from my side. Yes, I can hear it here. Oh. Okay, and Ilias. Thank I you. just write through my work and I know that, that this lesson will be dedicated to English proverbs. So I yeah. found one of them here and but because I um, didn't learn them, so I just uh, I'm just going to read them, okay? Okay. So one of them better late than never. Mm -hmm. actually, it flows than words, blood okay. is thicker than water. Let's talk about this one. What does mean? Blood is thicker than water. A relationship with family is stronger than what a relationship. For example, my friends invited me okay. to the talk on Sunday. So, yeah, maybe you can choose one. And what is your favorite? 
maybe you can explain. The vehicle can be chosen. Right, just to make sure that the water run deep. I don't know if you can if you can see the chat area. I don't know if, if the proverbs, the other participant shares are available to you. It says, for example, Adiba. Uh, maybe uh, let's start with, for example, Sultan says, no pain, no gain. Ibn says, the early bird gets the worm. And a picture, uh, better late than never. Yeah. So yeah, action speaks louder than words. It's uh, Dima says that one also. I don't know if you are able to to see that in your chat. No, she are so you can... she is still joining. So I'm going to copy again. Yeah. This is the 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 proverbs that other people says. You can always get what you want. Action speak louder than words. No pain, no gain. The early bird, bird gets the worm. Better late than never. And a picture is a worth a thousand words. So yeah, that's the the proverbs that other people share. Okay. I'm going to talk about. Or perhaps we might find some something more. Uh, I don't know. Do you have any favorite maybe that you like more? What about beggars can be chosen? What okay. Think? Okay. Explain us about that. Okay. Beggars can choose anything because they are speaking for something. And uh, here is an explanation for people who depend on the generosity. It's better to have something small but possess it rather than uh, having something in your mind, in your dream form. Mm, yeah, yeah. Well, or maybe for example, you can have an old car, but you have it. But you dream about an expensive one, but you don't have it. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's related with risk. You don't have to risk many things. If you have, if you have to to be like to be grateful for having one thing, and you don't have to risk one thing because you can lose that thing if you want to achieve another m many many things maybe did i get it right yeah something like that and okay i'm i'm already the explanation okay well i'm confident i'll land one of the two jobs i interviewed for last week and they're better than this one okay uh, in my opinion you should take a, a verb in Spanish was to in the bus. Well, if you have some kind of work, but somebody else gives you a better work, but you're not sure that that for sure, uh, certainly you have that work. Mm -hmm. And perhaps the place where you're working is better than that. Of which one you good offer but still you don't have it right right now yeah maybe you can apply that with friends also with relationships it's better to have one true friend that have millions of friends that are not really good maybe yeah, you can i suppose you can apply in that way either and Absence makes her grow stronger. Perhaps we could talk about this one. Yeah, yeah. If you want to talk about that, I don't know. Those proverbs are new for me. That's why. I do, like do you have talk. proverbs? Sorry, 
Ilias, do you have proverbs in your native language in Kyrgyzstan? Yes, of course, but the meaning is, of them almost similar to those. What is your favorite in your native language? Something that you said every day, maybe. Not in English, but in your native language. Well, I don't know. I don't use them often. Mm, that's another one. Absence no. makes heart grow fun. No, I suppose my... Favorite one would be easiest one, better now than never. Mm, better yeah, yeah. Than never. yeah. Better yeah. late than never. Better, better late than never. Yeah, yeah. Ibnu says something related with that. Better late than never. It's, you and you can apply that with learning another language, right? Sure. Well, Things we can apply. It's never late. It's never better to start it late than never start it. Yeah. It's better to share something small with someone than uh, not giving anything at all. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's one of my favorites too. Better late than never. I think I'm going to start I'm, I want to learn and to play another instrument, musical instrument, like a piano, maybe. Sometimes I told to myself that I'm too old to try to learn to play, you know, the piano or some instrument. But I think you can apply that with, with you can apply better late than never. Another one, actions speak louder than words. We yeah. Have. Similar one in our yeah, yeah. language, and it's totally right. Many people used to say many words, but we need coming to action. Yeah. So Thank you, okay. Ilias. Mm -hmm. Some of the the proverbs that you said, also other people said before, like Ibnu and yeah. I think Sultan, yeah, Sultan was no pain, no gain. So yeah, it's, it was different, but yeah. Action speaks better, louder than words was Dima, who was the person who said that. So yeah, it was some, those are really famous proverbs. And I agree with you that, yeah, it's, those are, yeah, for example, better late than never, you can apply to everything. Okay. Do you, uh, before we move on to another participant, do you want to say anything else, Ilias? No, thanks. I suppose I said what I wanted to say. Okay, thank you, Ilias. Thank, thank you for thank joining. You. Thank you very much. Let's move on to our dear, our dear friend, Rana. Hey, hey, Rana. Can you hear me, Rana? Rana Tama Sidabalak. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry for mispronouncing your name. Actually, read it uh, clearly. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. Please, uh, Rana, do you have any favorite? Our topic today is is about proverbs yeah. and sayings, like better late than never. It's better. I'm glad that you join even late because it's better late I'm than sorry. never. I'm sorry, I'm always late. <laughs> yeah, so that's the one proverb: better late than never. All right. Do you so, have any proverb? Um, actually, I like kind of proverb, but currently maybe I will pick one that I okay. relate to me. So okay. I will choose one. It is be present in the moment. Enjoy. Okay. Enjoy the moment right now. Don't ruin yourself. Don't ruin today by perhaps by thinking future ahead that far that we will we won't uh, face it yet so just enjoy the present be it in the moment so okay uh, hopefully hopefully you will attract the good one in the future ahead yes i think okay. that's all okay so <laughs> and how you can apply that in your day-to-day -day life in you you worry a lot a lot about the future or what 
Yeah, yeah, indeed. It is my weakness that mm -hmm. I'm to worry about my future. What, what I have to do? What, what if? What if? What if? But it just ruined the moment. I'm worrying too much. Even I can't do anything. I can do something better. So, oh yeah, right now I want to ignore it for a moment. Just enjoy the moment. Just do what you can do today. Just yeah. Enjoy the moment. So enjoy this conference call. Exactly. All you guys. People, please smile, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> because we have to enjoy this meeting. Enjoy exactly, the moment. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, you have to enjoy even this meeting. It's it's better, right? Right. You have to, to be grateful. I'm happy. I'm yeah. happy to hear you to see yeah, you yeah. all here. I agree. I agree with you and yeah. And enjoy Thank the moment. You. It's Thank it's you. the mo it's the most yeah, it's a really nice phrase phrase. Sometimes we forget about that. We we Yeah, we are yeah, about we just worry about what next, what you have to do. What yeah, just we ignore the what we have right now. Yeah, yeah, and sometimes we we also regret about the past, exactly. the past events. Have you ever regret about the past and don't in, in, enjoy the moment? I want to remember it. I want to remember it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, but it's better to be present in the moment. So. Just be yeah. thankful for what we have right now. Yeah. Do you want to say anything else about another pro? Maybe another proverb. Do you want to share with us, or that's all? that's all i just can't say that for a moment oh, for this okay slide. thank you thank you rana thank you and enjoy the moment and everyone enjoy this moment enjoy this conference call hopefully thank we you, rana. the positivity yeah yeah it's quite positive it's a positive uh, phrase thank you rana thank you very much i'm glad that you that you joined even better than better later than never as another participant said Thank you, Rona. Thank you very much. And I think we finish. We oh, sorry, we have Juicy, our dear friend. Juicy, are you there, Juicy? Yes, I'm here. Can you hear oh, my voice? Yeah, of course, we can hear you clearly. So, but we cannot see you. Huh? I already on camera. Okay. So yeah, yeah, that doesn't matter. Please tell us something about your favorite proverb of saying. I think I that the same with Adima and Sultan. That is okay. about yeah. That, but I will I will share about my experience. experience okay. That that proverb. Yeah. Uh, number one is uh, actions speak louder than words. That is so important for me, especially. Mm -hmm my activity my life uh, in work in office because uh we we not only just share uh ideas i guess but but we must uh join contribute to realize that ideas to be happen yeah that is yeah. the point in my my work my work so uh when i just talk a lot i can uh, talk with sweet word and yeah something like that but i cannot influence the people to move to move to do action yeah just that so i must uh to do the, the first i give the example then they will be uh, they they will follow me to do uh, mm. uh action so yeah, the success will be achieved. Yeah, that is the so important thing. Yeah, uh, exactly. It's like you are the you are an example for the other people, right? Yes, yes, yes. That's right. Uh, when I I work in team in team, so I must uh yeah I share I talk a lot about my ideas, but I I must uh give uh the tile about the example how to do this how to do this then i join it i i contribute to i like you say uh we must uh what's that demo 
Yes, democratization. What is that? Yes, I mean we we uh, we give the action yeah, yeah. Uh, and action to to the other people, so they they understand and they they can they can uh, uh, do the the yeah the job uh, mm -hmm. doing stuff or something like that. And in my an example in my family, when I ask uh, uh, one of family to do praying, to do praying, so I must to do the first. Uh, mm, yeah. I must to do the first. And I mean, uh, I I already uh, I I already uh, do prayer. So I ask my uh, my sister or my brother to do the same. So yeah, yeah. Before. Yeah, they follow it. And how can how can you ask the other people to do something, but you you don't do that? You you are lazy. Yeah, yeah, that exactly. And, uh, that cannot influence uh, you uh, to move. Uh, yeah, yeah. The keyword that you said is influence influence other people. Yeah, you can yeah. influence influence yeah. or influence. I don't know how to pronounce influence or influence. Yeah, that, <laughs> that is same also in the group in the group in the admin so mm -hmm. when i make a program and when i make a group meeting so i must uh, join it so the yeah, yeah. the the participants will join you see it's like when, when we say if you want to improve in english you have to speak a lot everybody says that right but nobody takes the time to join like this this meeting and to practice. So many yeah. people say that you have to speak, but many people, a lot of people don't join and don't practice. So action yeah. speaks better than words. Yes, and and you know, if the the simple in the simple uh, example is uh, when some someone send read and report, why mm -hmm. nobody read that because who send the read and record not not do that yeah yeah and so, some, sometimes yeah. i i don't yeah, i have to confess that i never <laughs> i never read and record <laughs> uh, yeah. sometimes we are shy right we are shy but the only way to improve is to practice so yeah. and i apologize okay. for you <laughs> what, uh, i will give you example uh, one a uh, teacher one teacher send uh send read and record or send uh, talks about multiple choice or something like that, but mm -hmm. they didn't give example or something like that. So how can we, how can we know and how can we mm, yeah, now I get. get influence to, to do that? that yeah, I get it. Yes, yeah, so, uh, uh, many people, many people ignore you in the group maybe because you didn't uh, active to give a sample to yeah, yeah. other people. Exactly. That is simple, simple about this. Yeah, it's like yeah. if I if I share a text and said read and record, but I don't read it first. The yeah. other people don't care about that because, yeah, if if I am the person who, who wants to motivate another people, I I am I am the person who who has to do that first, right? You have to yeah. do first, and then other people follow your. But example it, that is that is the point in a work in the work and if you want to if you if you talk a lot but but you do action a lot you will uh directly have good position directly I mean, okay fast, so fast uh get directly position but uh, mostly people just talk a lot just uh, talk sweet word and something like that uh, talk uh, good in front of you, but talk bad behind you. That's why they they cannot uh, grow up. They cannot uh, get good position. Just in mm. the exactly, yeah. exactly. That's my experience. That's my experience. Yeah, yeah. And I hope, yeah, we can apply this to this this phrase. Actions speaks louder than words, and I hope that my actions here speaks louder than my words. I don't know. I also I I, I I I try to motivate you guys to speak, and I hope that my actions speaks louder than my words. I don't know if if I succeed with that, 
But yes, yeah, and, yes, and I have another another uh, proper that that is no pain again. That is really yeah. really good, really good. I mean, uh, you can same, same as must, Sultan, right? Sultan, yeah. the same. Yes, you must you must uh, do hard work so you you will get everything you want. So that is that is not magic magic. You need process to yeah, yeah. so you can get it. That is. And the the last or oh, the last okay. the last is, is a proverb uh, in my native language. Native language. Okay. That is, Can you uh, translate it to English? That, <laughs> I don't know. I don't maybe maybe some some someone can translate it. That is about okay. uh, ilmu padi. Ilmu padi makin berisi makin merunduk. Okay, translate. Okay, maybe Ibnu can translate that because he he maybe knows about that. Uh, that is that means uh, we we uh, we we must. I mean, we are already grow up, grow grow, uh, growing old uh, and growing mature. Uh, so uh, we we get. Better, as well as, uh, better education. So uh, we should uh, be humble. Should should be uh, be humble about our achievement, about our uh, position. That, that is uh, the that. <laughs> yeah, maybe here Adiba, uh, Ibnu, mm -hmm. and Sultan and Rona. They, I think they they understand your your proverb in indonesian so okay yeah. uh, i'm trying to translate it uh, yeah as long as we know that uh, rice plant um, is uh, a plant is a kind of plant that uh, if uh, they grow older then they will uh, get heavier uh, about the the seed because uh, the seed mm -hmm. is getting larger so uh, the plant is going to bend down yeah. like this, mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, I guess uh, it uh, depicts a human behavior. Uh, when mm. the human, when a human gets uh, gets wiser and gets smarter, then uh, they will tend to respect the others. Uh, mm. they, they will more be humble. Mm. Uh, yeah. They, okay. Yeah. So it's it's about rice, the the plant of the rice, yeah. you know, the, yeah. the food. Maybe That's in right. Indonesia you, you guys eat a lot of rice. That's why you <laughs> yeah. you have these these proverbs, <laughs> and you cultivate the rice also. That's right. That's true. <laughs> we are you... rice eater. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that explains it. food. <laughs> 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 Okay, you, you eat a lot of rice, so that's why you, yeah. you, you make a proverb rice. about rice. Rice, also. Yeah. rice is a staple here. It's a main dish, uh, main mm -hmm. main cuisine. Okay, that, that, uh, now, like now, I, now, you understand, now I understand why you, 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 you said that proverb. Because you, right. you relate with, maybe you cultivate also, you cultivate in the farms a lot of rice. So people can relate with that. Thank you, Yusi. Thank you very much. And thank you, Ivnu, for your explanation. Do you want to say anything else, Yusi? I think that is enough. I okay. <laughs> so I think that's it. We finished our conversation today. First of all, thank you. Thank you guys for joining today. Thank you for, for sharing with us all your proverbs. Like Sultan says, no pain, no gain. If you want to improve your English, you have to put the time. And as Ibnu <clears throat> says, uh, you, you said two, right? Uh, the, the, the birds that the early bird get, get the, worm. the early bird gets the worm. Yeah, you have to get up early and you have more time to do. And also Dima. And I think you see the uh, action speak louder than words. Uh, Rona says, uh, please stay Focus. Uh, enjoy the moment. Don't worry about the future. What, what was the Adiba? Adiba says something about uh, you can always get what you want. Yeah, you can complain about, but 
it doesn't matter. You can all you cannot always get what you want. Uh, well, Ilias shared with us a lot of a lot of phrase, but it says better late than never. Also, right? And yeah, it, I think that's it. Uh, and Yusi also says the same as as Sultan, I think, right? No, it's about the same about the same as as Dima, right? Action speaks louder than words. So yeah, that's it. So thank you very much. I learned a lot. I learned new, thank you, new sir. vocabulary. Thank you guys for joining today. I think we, we are going to take some pictures with, before we go. So guys, please make your your better pose, your better face. <laughs> We're going to take some pictures to share in the group. Okay, another. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ilias. Thank, thank you, Sultan, Dima, Rana. Ibn, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. And don't forget, probably this video is going to be on YouTube. So if, yes. if you can, please like and subscribe really? to the channel. <laughs> And leave a comment, please. <laughs> okay, Thank you very okay, much. Okay, bye bye.